So welcome to this week's episode of Leadership Soundbites with Roko Michelle. And I love to see your smiling face. Thank you. So this week, it's going to be on the power of get ready, measurement. <laughs> I know, I know, super groundbreaking, innovative stuff, but we are cutting edge here at Leadership Soundbites. <laughs> so let's, and then we'll explain why we picked it. So the quote that we have, and we really don't know who to attribute it to at this point, is to measure is to know. And that's the one we'll start out with. And and for me, obviously, not obviously you and I talked. The reason this came up for me is it's not just around measuring, okay? Because a lot of times we do have anecdotal things that we say about problems, impact, magnitude, whatever. And measurement is that thing to, to quantify the impact of what's going on. But the other part of it is I think what you measure matters as well. So there was work that this one group was doing and it was reducing um, the number of claims that they had. But there's a, more to the story around measurement that they didn't dig deeper on to find out, you know, what, for instance, I'm gonna go back to finance days, cost per unit of service. So if you had reduced claims, what else is happening as a result of that? Yeah. Um, so anyway, that's what comes to mind for me. Yeah, I, I I love this topic and I love the framing of there's power in it. And, and for me, that power in it is, and I think you said it offline, but it's the story mm -hmm. that it tells. And too often um, teams or leaders can they're measuring to your to your story they're measuring something but what is the story that it's really telling mm. and if you come from that scientific mindset of i have some hypothesis that if i do this i'll expect this outcome mm -hmm. you have to be able to measure it to say did it actually produce the outcome that i thought in the way that i thought and whether it's creating that correlation of cause and effect, um, I think that's where the power comes from, is mm -hmm. that measuring to measure isn't what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. the power is, is having some proof that you had some plan and you've checked it against what's actually happened. And you can show with measurement that that cause and effect relationship. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of different directions you can go to your point. And it was so funny because um, I remember talking to Sam or somebody a number of times and I said, you could basically say, compare, measure, if you will, the number of times, let's say cars stopped at the stop sign outside your office window compared to the number of sips it took for you to finish a cup of coffee, okay? You're measuring both of those things. So what? So to your point, the power of measuring is, is measuring the, I'm gonna say the right, and, I, and I'm kicking myself as I say that, but measuring the right stuff, or at least understanding the, the purpose of the measurement and what it's doing. And then the other is, is it getting you closer to closing the gap that you have? So you could be doing this stuff, it could be making a difference, but if that work is doing that and it's not impacting this, that's the important piece, piece too. So right. to your point that there, you could be making improvement, but is it improving in the area that, you're, that you've identified that you need to close the gap? Right. Uh, and not just for the sake of doing it. Yeah. 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 Because again, to, to the quote around measurement is to know, it allows you to know something more about that thing you were looking at that you didn't know before. And so that understanding that cause and effect relationship or the so what to your point, it, you now have new knowledge and it's either going to say, that knowledge is your, your hypothesis was correct, mm -hmm. or there was some other unintended, you know, consequence that you didn't anticipate that now has given you additional knowledge about that situation or about that thing you were 
you were solving too. Yeah, there was another quote I ran across to to basically what you just said is it's the you it either proves that what is happening is working or it proves that it's not working and you've learned something from that, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, but you're not going to know the whole story in, unless there is measurement associated with it. And so I'll go to another one. And there was variations on this one. One accurate measurement is worth a thousand expert opinions. So it's like we have anecdotally have experienced something. But if we don't actually take the time to measure, to understand, get metrics, something behind it, it's an opinion. Mm -hmm. um, and it's some experience and it, it could be made larger than life if it was the most recent thing we experienced, right? To where maybe the frequency is as much as what you thought. The other thing that comes to mind for me is um, it's, it's, it doesn't have to be like this. I need a report out of our electronic system. Because I think that's where people go a lot of times and go, okay, so how do I get it? Well, I have to go to this department to do it. Do you? I mean, it could be as much as just a tick marks on something that, that you're measuring to go, you know, how many times this happened? Because people are like, well, we don't have that measurement system. Measurement doesn't have to be from this elaborate system. Measurement doesn't have to come from electronic reports. Measurement can come from observations of what's happening so that you understand whether or not what you're doing is working or better understand the magnitude of a gap or a problem. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally agree. I, I don't think you need to have elaborate data analysis or data gathering. It, uh, simple observations mm -hmm. can tell you what's actually happening um, versus, and it'll give you the facts. Sometimes yeah. sometimes reports can yeah. lie, you know, yeah. Yeah. If, if you don't have the data integrity around that data source. So going out and observing where it's being done um, is going to give you the facts of the situation. Yeah. And I just wanted to, wanted to piggyback on what you were saying earlier too is, um, and I now can maybe not because I just maybe not just not. Anyway, it'll come back. So it'll come back. back. But anyways, I've had that happen. You're like I have a really great thought. Okay, shoot, sure, it's gone. It's gone. The the other thing that came to mind for me around measurement is the that I know we talked about tracking and different ways to do it. I've literally watched teams get stuck because they can't. They don't know where the report is. They don't know whatever. And, and to your point, observation is that doesn't even come up as a way to measure things that are happening. And so I think it gives people freedom when you tell them, you know, you, you can do it very organically. I mean, you can do it through observation. Surveys are another way to measure. People are like, um, the thing that's hard is customer experience or employee experience on stuff. And I said, but it's really not hard. I said, because even, well, and they're like, well, but we didn't measure it before that you don't have to. If you realized you missed a measurement on something like experience, survey people after the fact and ask them, is this statement true before we did this work? How true? And you could do a Likert scale, right? From strongly disagree to strongly agree. And, and go, how is it now, post whatever? So I think measurement can play out so many different ways and don't limit yourself if the report's not built or you didn't do it before, whatever it is, you can do it. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't, don't think it's too late. <laughs> right. So anyway, did it, your thought come back? If not, no, it, okay. it didn't. It, it didn't. will it's after okay. we end. And so if yeah. Roku's thought comes back after we end, I will put it in the description of the podcast. <laughs> we'll be here to the thought that Roku has. Um, so what are one or two things that you want people to walk away with around the power of measurement? The For me, again, I think it goes back to measure what matters, as, as you stated. Um, because when you have that cause and effect relationship, you'll then gain knowledge around the situation that you were trying to solve to or, or have some improvement around. Yeah. 
So here's where my brain went when you said that, because I'm like, how do people know what matters? It's that cause and effect. Yeah. It's the cause and effect. Yeah. So fi figure that out. Do some thinking around how do I know what matters to all that stuff? And a lot of times the what matters part could be something that you've told yourself you can't get. Mm -hmm. So I think that's where for me is um, check your thinking if that's what it is. There's not a report. There's not. A, how else could you get that information? What other way could you do it to where it's not perfect? but it's going to get you directionally correct information um, on what it is so that you know whether or not what you're doing is making a difference. And then you're going to have some insights into what else you could measure to tell. And I'm going to say it the rest of the story, because I think there's more than, than just one way or one measurement that you do to tell the complete story um, on that. So I think that's the power in it is get creative. Yeah. Um, you know, don't worry that you didn't do it beforehand. You can, you can do it now and play catch up. Um, but the thing is do it, <laughs> don't not do it. <laughs> um, so anyway, I always appreciate time in the room with you. So this has been leadership sound bites with Rocco and Michelle. So please like share, subscribe until next time. Thank you. Thank you.